Hey guys, it's Bree. So, change scene today. I'm in my workroom because the cleaners are here, and I'm sorry if you can hear the vacuum and go working in the background. I can't do anything about it. But today's video is going to be on choosing a menstrual cup. I know I've done this video before, but it is the question I get asked every single day the most. So, I honestly can't answer those messages anymore when people ask me which menstrual cup do you think would suit me best. So, I'm going to tell you what I think my five favorite menstrual cups. Well, sorry, I'm going to tell you what my five favourite menstrual cups are and which types I think they fit best and you're just going to have to work out which type you are and which one of these would work out good for you. I can only give you my advice but the truth is, trial and error. You won't know until you try a menstrual cup out exactly how it's going to work for you but the main rule of menstrual cups is they work. If you get to grips with your menstrual cup and figure out how it um, feels for you and how it works you'll be able to get it to work so um, I mean this is just basically technical details that I think make a cup a better fit but they should all work so yeah but let's get straight into it so my five favorite menstrual cups are the Maluna oh, sorry the five best menstrual cups for a first time buyer I would say are the Maluna, the Lunette, the Diva Cup, the Ruby Cup and the Sibel Cup so I'm gonna go straight into it I think I'll start off with the Melina Cup, and I'm just going to tell you, like I said before, which of these I think would suit, or rather the type I think these menstrual cups would suit. So, this is the Mini Melina, and I would not recommend this menstrual cup for anyone unless you have a really low cervix. And finding your cervix, I should say actually, is one of the most important things for picking out a menstrual cup that's going to fit you. You don't have to do it to buy a menstrual cup, but it's going to make your life a lot easier and could save you a lot of money. So basically you get your finger and you stick it up your vagina and you see if you can feel your, um, your cervix even. <laughs> so if you can only get your finger in this far before you feel your cervix, it should feel like a hard marble. It will feel very different, trust me. You'll know when you feel your cervix. In this far, you have a low cervix. If you can fit your finger in this far, you have a medium cervix. If you can fit your finger in this far and still feel it, you have a high cervix. And if you can stick your finger in and you can't feel it at all, you have a very high cervix. So. The Maluna Mini is the only cup I think is really suitable to try if you can only get your finger in this far. The Maluna comes in a range of colours. I have a whole stash down here in my workroom actually. Um, it's one of my favourite menstrual cups because it's probably the most affordable on the market that has been safety tested. It's made of a good material. This one is made of TPE, thermoplastic elastomer. Most menstrual cups are made of silicone. They come in a range of sizes and they have a huge number of um, different things you can pick. My favourite thing to have is the classic stem. Hang on, let me grab one out of my um, storage thing. So, I don't know if you can see. This ha thing has a classic stem. I think that's the best stem if you're a beginner because you can trim it if you need to. It's the easiest to trim and that's very important, especially if you're completely new. But, getting back to my own one. I only got this because I thought I have a very light period, I wouldn't need it, but the thing with menstrual cups is they tend to ride up, so if you haven't got experience with menstrual cups and you get a short one and you've got a medium cervix, that might scare you if this thing rides up and you can't reach it. You can get it out by crunching down, I have a whole load of videos on this, but um, it might scare you a bit. So anyway, they come in several sizes, they have mini, small, medium, large and extra large, different firmnesses, soft, uh, classic and sport. I always recommend if you're a beginner to get a classic resistance and get either a small or a medium unless you know you have a really heavy period in which case go for a large. The only reason I would say you get an extra large is if you have a seriously heavy period and you've had a child because it is a very big cup. Um, I don't think I have any large at the moment so I can't show you what the large looks like. The extra large is obviously very big. So I would recommend the Melunas if you don't want to spend much money on a menstrual cup but you want one that's safe and has been tested. Go and look on their website and see which style would fit you best because they have lots of advice on that. But that is the cup I recommend if you don't want to spend much money on a menstrual cup but you want one that's reliable. That is the best one to start with. The Lunette is another one I recommend because this is one of my favourite menstrual cups. It's very easy for me to use. It's a medium resistance, um, so it's really easy to get in and out. It has a very easy to grip stem and easy grips on its body. So it's nice and easy if you're a newbie and you need to grab it and get it out. You don't want to worry about slipping and stuff. It's a very reliable cup and it's a very safe choice, so to speak. It's It won't let you down, I don't think. Um, so this one, as I said before, is a medium resistant. Unless you have seriously strong pelvic floor muscles, you should have no problem getting this in and open. You have a bit of difficulty, you just insert it, it pops open, pull it down a bit, push it up, pull it down, push it up, and it should open naturally. 
This one has two size options, a small and a large, a model one, model two. My general idea of the different sizing of models is if you have a light to medium flow, you get the small. If you have a medium to heavy flow, you get the large. They tend to do it on if you're over 30, get the larger. If you're under 30 and you haven't had a baby, get the smaller one. Personally, I think it's more based on uh, menstrual heaviness because these cups will work either way. But if you know you're very tight down there, stick to the small. But it's a very reliable cup, so that's why I like that one. It's more expensive, but it's kind of at the average range. I think it's around £19.99 in the UK. Don't know how much that is in US dollars or anything else, I'm afraid. So, next cup is a very popular cup. It's the Diva Cup. The reason that I would recommend the Diva Cup is because it's a lovely, lovely silicone. And it's really... It's nice to use. You can easily insert it, I think. It's, again, a reliable cup, but... My stipulation with this one is do not buy the Diva Cup unless you can get your finger in past your second knuckle. Some people who can only get the finger into here can use the Diva Cup, but some people can't. And the Diva Cup is a pretty expensive cup um, most of the time, so if you're going to spend that much money, you probably want to be sure that you can get it in. So if you can get your finger into here, I'm sure you'll have no issues with this cup getting in. It does have a stem. I've cut the stem off most of my cups because I have a very low cervix, sorry, a, low, a medium cervix here. I can use it, but sometimes I can't, and that might be the case for you, and you don't want a cup that you can only use sometimes if your cervix has dropped, which often happens on your period. So just bear that in mind. It's a really good cup, but I really don't recommend it unless you have a high cervix. Some people say they find it painful. That's usually because their cervix is lower than they thought, and it pushes the cup down, and then the outside of your, um, your vulva tends to rub against here, and that's not pleasant. You need to insert the whole cup inside you. That's my stipulation with that cup, but it's a good silicone, and I had no issues with the company, so I do recommend it, but like I said, only if you've got a cervix that high. The next cup I'm recommending is the Ruby Cup. The Ruby Cup is a one-size cup, so you don't have to worry about picking out a size, so that's pretty useful for some people who are kind of like, I don't know which one to go for. It's got a really good capacity, so yes, it can hold a heavy flow, but you might need to empty it out a little bit more than someone with a lighter flow, but it's not dangerous to do that, it's just not as convenient because menstrual cups can be left in for up to 12 hours, you've got to remember. This is also made of silicone and this is one of the nicest silicones I've ever felt, which is why I'm recommending this. It's a very high quality cup. If you want the one that's going to last and is going to hold your flow, this is the one that I'd recommend, but I wouldn't recommend this cup to someone who's really young starting out with menstrual cups. I got it when I was 15, I think, 15 or 16, and I can use it, but if I'm really crampy, I don't want to because it is a reasonably large menstrual cup, but it, it works. I just, I don't know. I don't recommend it for the younger ones just because I think you need a smaller cup when you're starting out. And this kind of fits in the middle category. So if you're older than, say, 16, 17, if you're actually, if you're sexually active, you should be fine with this cup. But if you're completely new and if you haven't had any sexual intercourse or anything, might be a bit tight down there and you might have trouble with this. But that doesn't always go, it's just what I recommend. So the other nice thing about this company that I love is that whenever you buy one of these menstrual cups, they donate one to a girl in Kenya, so to keep her in school, because a lot of girls in Africa miss school because of their periods, they can't afford sanitary care, and they drop out, and that's how they stay in poverty. But when you buy one of these, the Ruby Cup donates one, and I really, really like that. So if you're big into ethics and supporting these projects, this is definitely a cup you should consider. And finally, the Sibel Cup. Now, the Sibel Cup is one I'd recommend for people who have a sensitive bladder or who know they're generally sensitive down there and want a softer cup. Typically, softer cups are more difficult to get in and open, but as long as you're happy to fiddle around, you won't have any issues. But it tends to be a really good cup for people, as I said before, with sensitive bladders who find that menstrual cups press on the bladder, or if you're not sure and you're worried about it, go for a softer cup. It's also good if you have very bad menstrual cramps, because it's really easy to... I don't know what it is about softer cups, I just find that I'm more happy to put them in when I'm cramping than I would with a firmer cup because they, they don't pop open as much, they softly open and I, I like that. <laughs> so the Sabel cup is my favourite soft cup and it's a lovely silicone again. It's definitely one I recommend for people who have those issues and it has two sizes. Again, look at their website and see what they recommend for you. But, oh, this is the pouch that it comes with. So. Those are my recommendations for my favourite cups. Whatever I've said, take it into account and see which one would fit you best. But any of those I think would be good starter cups depending on what your kind of, um, what's the word? 
characteristics are, just listen, as I said before, what I said and take it on board. The only thing I'm going to say is if you are really, really sporty or you know you have very strong pelvic floor muscles, one thing to consider is the Maluna Cup um, do do a sport version which is firmer than the classic. That might be something you want to take into consideration because that's good. I like to wear them if I'm doing ballet or something and I know I'm going to be using my pelvic floor muscles a lot. And they do come in all the sizes again, but you won't have as much colour choice. They only do it in one colour. But again, it's a good choice if you're a very sporty person. So, I hope that was helpful guys. Sorry for the long video, but I really needed to get this one done. And I guess I'll see you later. Bye!